Mary Dugleish, an agricultural consultant with SEC Consulting. Are you looking to undertake your first carbon audit and not sure what you need to do or how to make a start on data collection? Then this video will break down what you need to do and what information can be easily found in existing farm records. For your first carbon audit, there is £500 worth of funding available, but the funding will give you access to an accredited advisor for support with the data collection, data entry onto the carbon calculator, and also a report, which will include mitigations on how you could improve your carbon footprint. By having that report completed by an advisor and including recommendations will mean that the carbon audit is eligible for you to receive soil sampling funding under the Preparing for Sustainable Farming grant scheme. So you would have to engage the services of somebody to complete a carbon audit, have it completed, have paid for it and then retrospectively claim the grant back. Because there's not the same pre-application checks and process, it's important to read the guidance and check that you are eligible. However, for a first carbon audit, the eligibility criteria is quite simple and you should just have a business reference number with rural payments and services and be registered with them for funding purposes. Once you have engaged the services of a local um, advisor directly and that carbon audit is completed, they will then invoice you for that work and you will need to pay them for that work. And then once you've got a copy of your carbon audit, a copy of your invoice for the work and a snippet from your bank statement showing that you've paid the invoice, you can then retrospectively claim the £500 grant using an online system. To find out more information about the Preparing for Sustainable Farming um, stream and also submit a claim for a carbon audit if you have completed one recently with an accredited advisor, that claim process is now open. And the easiest way to access that information is to go to www.ruralpayments.org and on the home page there, there will be an icon for Preparing for Sustainable Farming, which will give you all the information you need. When it comes to data collection for carbon audits, a lot of the information needed is already available in records you are keeping. And I'll cover a few key examples now. So for areas of grassland and crops, you can use your SAF form to find this information. And in the first few pages of your SAF summary document, there'll be a nice, easy to follow table that will summarise total areas of different crops and also different grass ages. If you're not sure how to get a copy of your SAF form, the easiest way is to log in to Rural Payments and Services using your uh, individual login details. And once you've opened your business page using when you're the blue font where your business name is highlighted, you'll then get a page that has a green toolbar. Navigate along to the communication log, select that, and then it'll open a list of documents. Scan through and find the SAF summary document which relates to the 12 month period that you're using for your carbon audit and click view file to the right hand side and you will then be able to access that easy to follow summary table. Total tonnages of fertiliser applied to different crops or land areas are also required but again this information should be easily accessible. Most farms will already be keeping it for some form of assurance purpose so you could find it in that relevant booklet. Or if you're in the NVZ area, this information will most likely be in your NVZ records book. And finally, if you're using a digital crop record software, then it should be very easy to run a report to see fertiliser used. Livestock sales, purchases and deaths. This information will again be readily available in a farm's individual livestock records. So be that your herd register or your flock book. Again, if you're using a digital package for your livestock uh, records, it should be very easy to run a report and you can set the parameters of the report as the dates of the 12 month period you're using. And you'll then get a summary of the different ages of stock on the holding at that time and also deaths and other information. Invoices also come in very handy for a number of elements of the carbon audit data, such as sale or purchase weights of livestock, and uh, tonnages of purchase bedding and purchase feed used. 
So the key points of today's video is that when undertaking your first carbon audit, there is £500 worth of funding available. And you should utilise this funding so that you get help from an accredited advisor to make the process easier for you for your first time, but also make sure that you get those recommendations so that your carbon audit is eligible for soil sampling funding going forward. If you're not sure of an accredited advisor in your local area, don't let that put you off. The Farm Advisory Service website will have a list of all accredited advisors who can complete carbon audits and you can search this um, by geographical area to find somebody local to you. And finally, data collection is not something to fear. So much of the information needed is already stored within your records and it's a small collation exercise to get the information for the precise 12 month period that you want to use for your carbon audit. And you can select that 12 month period to suit your information and records.